Man, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Swish Life Garage with your boy KT, man, as always. Now, today, man, I'm still throwing it down with the truck over here, still working on the rear end. If you guys saw my previous video, I did take down the rear axle, completely stripped it down. I refreshed up the uh, leaf springs, put on some polyurethane bushings. Now it's time to get down to the rear end. So, of course, the rear end is looking pretty nasty. You know, it has some dirt, it has some rust. The rear axle was was taken off of a 2001 truck I believe it has the year on it I don't really remember it at this time but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get it down to the bare metal get it ready prepped up for paint and as well some of the other pieces I do got to prep them up so we can start working on the rear end throw it back together and put it onto the truck so that's really what this video is going to be covering today now I really wanted to just show this part um, as far as for painting what have you just because man I spent so many hours I spent I don't even know man like a couple of days worth of work onto this rear axle you know trying to make sure I get everything correct all the little crevices and everything you know I don't play around with this even though it's on YouTube whatever you know I can make it look however I want to edit this that but you know I just keep it real with y'all and um, I really put in that work you know so let's go ahead and get right into it I'm gonna start wire wheeling on the rear axle and uh, we'll just start from there you know we're gonna go ahead and get at it throw in some work throw in some time and you know how it goes down Here we are. It looks pretty nice, man. But I know it's not the cleanest. I know it's not, you know, probably all the grease isn't taken off 100%. Probably not all the rust is taken off 100%. And this is going to be something that's going to be underneath the car. So it is going to see a lot of road, um, you know, rocks and dirt and stuff like that. You can see there's probably still a little light surface rust on there, especially since I've had this out for a couple of days. You know, the last time I really worked on it was last weekend. So, of course, the moisture and everything from the humidity in the air is getting absorbed into the metal. But I did wipe it down with some 99% alcohol using multiple towels until the towel was coming out clean. And this is where it's sitting at. And I did tape up the holes because I am getting ready to paint this. So like I said, since it is not 100% rust free or grease free, whatever, I'm going to use a primer from Rust-Oleum, rusty metal primer. And um, really it's meant for things that are rustier, like way rustier than this. This is going to do the job really. And if you guys look on the back, it does say about 200 degrees. So. Of course, I don't think this uh, rear axle is going to get hotter than 200 degrees. They do get warm, but I wouldn't say they get hot like that. So that's not going to be an issue. After about two coats of the primer, I am going to use the VHT epoxy paint. And this is just the satin black. I'm going to try to put about three coats on that. So let's go ahead and get to work on this. Like I said, already wiped down. Just need to start off with the primer. Got about three coats of primer on it as of right now. It's primed pretty well. Um, not really any problems with it. I am flipping it back and forth. So if anything, the edges will get kind of get messed up here from rolling it over. Uh, but not really an issue like that.
So about 10-15 minutes after this coat of primer is drying on here, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the VHT epoxy paint. Again, this is the satin black and uh, it's going to look very nice once it's all finished up. Alright, it is the next day and the axle looks pretty good, man. I mean, obviously you still have your pits and stuff from some of the rust that was on there. Um, but man, it looks very nice. You know, it's going to be under the truck, so really people are not going to see it. But, you know, I just wanted to really touch it up, make it look real nice. Usually they're very rusty and... Uh, no one pays attention to it. Next up, what I need to take care of is the caliper uh, brackets for the brakes. And so also the dust covers for the, the brakes. When the axles are at the junkyard, you know, they're just sitting on the ground. So they did hit the plate. You could tell it's been rubbing as well. And so I did purchase some new ones. So I'm going to take these off. They do have some rivets from factory here, just two of them. Um, I'm going to see about trying to re-rivet the new ones, but if not, it should still hold with just the bolts and nuts when it is installed. So, let me go ahead and take care of that real quick. As you guys saw, I did switch over to just using the uh, Dremel just because it was a lot quicker than that drill. It was just so slow. But anyways, you want to make sure to, to grab the rubber boots off of the caliper bracket and then the rubber boot off of the actual shield and so you could reuse them. Also, I did take off the bracket for the actual line and they are labeled R and L for left and right as well the brackets are labeled here and then this one it's a little dirty there we go I don't know if you guys could really see it uh, next thing I'm gonna do is use the wire wheel on the angle grinder and just do the same thing I'm gonna primer them and then use the black satin epoxy on them before I put on the shields or putting the brackets back on anything like that brackets are completely sanded down um, wire wheeled and wiped down with alcohol so, so they don't have any dirt or anything on them as of right now and they're ready to be painted you know as best as they could be just like the axle wire wheeled it sanded it cleaned it and now I'm gonna put on some primer and then we're gonna put on the epoxy right after primer here's the other bracket ready to go and there's the part number. Like I said, one has an L and one has an R. Now you guys can see it real clear. Let's go ahead and prime them real quick. Okay, so check out the caliper bracket. Three coats of primer and then three coats of uh, epoxy. And then the other side here. So these are completely cured uh, as far as for the paint on them. You guys can see they came out real nice. I already checked to see if I had missed any spots. Everything looks to be good. And so I think these are going to really look good on the truck. I got to have this thing looking as best as it can. Here we do have the other piece. Caliber bracket. And they look real clean as well. But of course, we'll see that all put together at a later time. 
Now what I need to really focus my time on is the actual rear end here, the casing. So like I said previously, whenever I took off one of the seals, I did happen to nick it on the edge here. So I'm going to have to smooth that down. I have a Dremel with some different uh, assortments of attachments that I could put on it and uh, just get that down smooth. So really going to be inspecting everything as far as for where the bearings are going to be uh, sitting on and I'm going to take off the differential cover check to see where I took off the races for the bearing make sure no high spots as well didn't nick anything along the way and so just really uh, smoothing any nicks down and cleaning it up getting ready for the new bearings and seals just like rebuilding an engine you want to make sure everything is completely free as far as for dirt because that will mess up the bearings in the long run and uh, cause premature failure so let's go ahead and get started on this Everything has been cleaned up now. Uh, you guys could see I did smooth out some of those edges there. And uh, it's not really hard to smooth out just because you got so much surface area. If you just get rid of that lip, like even if you make it below surface area, everything else is going to save the race and the bearing or the seal, whatever it may be. So I did have to clean that up a bit. I did clean up this side as well. This is probably the worst one. It's just right there so I like I said I just grinded it off and then you have all this other surface area so nothing was damaged as far as for inside the bearings and then on this side as well just had a small area here um, but everything is all fixed up now I just need to go ahead and clean the inside so really I need to clean the tubes here for the shafts they have some gunk inside of there and uh, yeah it's just not really looking all that nice you could probably see why does it look so thick man but in order to clean this up I am going to use a long spiral brush here and then some mineral spirits So now this thing is all cleaned up. To be honest, I spent, I don't know, a good amount of time on this. Uh, but it did have a lot of gunk, like I told you guys previously. Take a look inside. I don't know how well you guys could see, but it is pretty clean. Before, it just had a layer of gunk um, just sitting. And so basically on this lower end of the uh, tubing, it just had a real thick line of grease or whatever it was going all the way to the differential. Here's the passenger side. Again, I don't know how well you guys could see it, but. It's pretty clean. And then here's where the diff will be sitting. Very clean as well. And the pinion will be sitting in there. So this thing is really ready to go. I gotta go ahead and get some bearings, some seals in there, throw the pinion back on. You guys had seen it. I spent tons of hours making sure this thing is prepped correctly, making sure it's painted correctly. So finally that is completed and now I can get ready for assembly of the rear end and throw it onto the truck. The rear end is not gonna be seen by very many people because the truck has been lowered and really you know no one's really ducking down to check out your rear end but it's just something that i want to do make sure it's nice and clean i don't have to touch it for years to come it's just one of those things to check off of my checklist 
and just move forward with it because I did already put the new suspension components if you guys saw that um, if not you can check out my previous videos but I did a lot of work on the suspension so the rear axle is something that will really complete and make everything come together let me know how I did down below in the comment section you could always hit me up as well on my social media which if you open the description box all that information is on there as well as my new online website so if you want to go pick up some products some merchandise go ahead and feel free to do so I'll package it myself and send it on your way and if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the bell notifications so you'll be notified when I post a new video. I'm trying to be consistent as I can with these videos guys and just show you guys in exact order how I'm working on these things. I try not to get too far caught up within myself on these projects so I stay knowledgeable and able to provide you the information that I feel is necessary for these videos. But that's going to be it for this video guys. I do appreciate if you stay to the very end but I'm going to have to catch you on the next one. Play on.